Hey guys, I am here with the Ghost Pro 2 with the Lens Hound wireless follow focus attached to it. So I just kind of wanted to talk through the setup, how we rigged it up. There are multiple ways of rigging a wireless follow focus, but this just gives you an idea of what you can do. So the Lens Hound is on our Ghost Pro 2 model right now, but the same rail system works on our V3 model. So you can mount any camera, lens, follow focus attachment on the V3 as long as it's under five pounds. Anything you mount on this top grip bar, like the monitor, any other batteries or joystick, anything like that doesn't affect the actual weight that we recommend for the, for the model. Right now we just have the lens hound hooked up with a belt to our lens. It's not a cinema lens, so it's just a pretty basic setup that could get you going if you're wanting to do a wireless follow focus. And we're also filming on the Panasonic GH4, which is a camera a lot of people seem to be filming with these days. But with the Ghost Pro 2, you can mount any camera up to 12 pounds. So this will accept the RED or the FS700, any variety of cameras with a follow focus if you're wanting to attach that. So the GH4 has a HDMI cable that's connected up here to the small HD monitor. On the right hand side we have the input and on the left hand side we have the output going to the nearest Aries Pro wireless transmitter which uh, is a very inexpensive option for transmitting your live video. We have the receiving end of the nearest hooked up to our TV for live viewing and you can use a small monitor if you're out in the field. We just have the TV so it's easy for you to view. So right now we have the nearest and the lens hound follow focus powered off the same power source. So this battery has a 12 volt output for our lens hound follow focus. And then there's a five volt output for the Nereus that's connected right here. So there are a couple cables connecting the power source and the HDMI output, but these cables are very lightweight and don't interfere with any of your movements as you're walking around. So to control the follow focus, Lens Hound has this remote that you can have a second operator control that. And it just takes 10 seconds to program. You set your input and output. And this is the first time that we've used it. But um, so far, it seems to be working very well. There's absolutely no delay. The main delay you're going to be dealing with is in the wireless video transmission and there's just a, the slightest of delay within that transmission. If you see, as I move the camera, there's hardly any delay in the actual video. So there's a lot more advanced options with the lens hound. You can, uh, you can set different points if you have an actor walking towards you or have two different objects that you want to zoom in between. You can set those different inputs. We haven't really messed with any of that yet, but right now we're just in a free run mode. So I am currently out of focus on the oranges and then can rack focus right to the oranges. Super simple system. If you are a one man team and want to run the lens hound, then you could also mount this on top of the ghost and then they included another adapter. So if I plug this into the lens hound, then I could mount this wheel right by my grip and I could operate it with a finger if I'm trying to operate the focus and the ghost at the same time. But with any type of operation like this, I'd highly recommend just having a second camera operator that is in charge of focus the whole time. So I'll just walk around these oranges real briefly with the setup and we'll have Hannah operate the lens hound follow focus just to give you an example of how this works. Take it out of focus. Am I back in focus? Nice.
Take a little practice. <laughs>